In today's video, we're gonna be chatting about rustic yarns and what options you have out there in terms of purchasing rustic yarn at a variety of price points. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested, grab something cozy to drink and perhaps you're knitting and let's dive in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Midweek Ramble. My name is Taylor and I will be your host. In today's video, we're continuing the Budget to Bougie series and we're focusing on rustic yarns and where we can find rustic, woolly, and in some cases, breed specific yarns at a variety of price points and budgets. The format of this video is going to work like this. I have three categories based on budget. I have budget, mid-range, and bougie, which is the higher end price point range for rustic yarns, which is what we're talking about today. Budget yarns are going to be anything that you can purchase for $10 or less per 100 grams. Mid-range yarns are going to be yarns that you can purchase for anywhere between $10 to $20 per 100 grams. And then the bougie is going to be anything that is over $20 per 100 grams. For each category, I'll be giving three options and one fun find within that budget. I'll be sharing my screen with you for some of the yarn options that I share with you today, but I do have some physical examples to share with you as well. Any of the options that I share with you today here are linked down below in the description box, so feel free to check them out there. You can link off and do your uh, additional research, any other research. You might even find that there are way more options out there than I explain here, which there are. Okay, before we dive in, let's clarify Russ rustic yarns for a moment. I am defining rustic yarn here for the sake of this video as 100% wool yarn that is non-superwash and untreated. And also because rustic sort of refers to things that are just ever so slightly unrefined, I'm not going to be using any examples here today that are primarily made up of merino yarn or actually that are made up of merino yarn in general. I'm gonna be keeping the merino and the cashmere and the alpaca off to the side for the sake of this video because I just don't consider those yarns to be rustic. Even the ones that are a little less fine than your super fine merinos, it's just such a very fine and common yarn that I wanna leave that out for this video. So the yarns that I'm sharing with you today are 100% rustic wool, coming from wool breeds that are not super fine breeds, bred for super fine yarns, such as merino cashmere or alpaca. All right, let's go ahead and dive in, and we're gonna begin with budget rustic yarn. This means you can purchase these yarns for $10 or less per 100 grams. And you may have guessed what my first option is going to be in this category, and that is Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. Okay, I have a few of these in my stash, but I'm just gonna use this one to share with you. I've been sharing uh, Fisherman's Wool on the podcast a lot lately because it's something that I'm using for a sweater. And this is, I have to say, if I had to choose one um, super budget, super accessible, meaning that you can pick it up at one of the big box craft stores like Joanne or Michael's, this is the best budget yarn option. This particular version of Lion Brand's Fisherman's Wool, because it is um, tweed, those little nips of tweed in there, those are made of acrylic. So that's that makes up 7% of this entire ball of yarn. The rest of this ball of yarn is 100% wool. All of the other uh, balls of Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool that are solid colors are 100% pure raw wool that's spun into a really lovely four ply um, twist. And the twist is not super tight. It definitely has that rustic nature to it. If we get close in here, you can see that it's kind of got a rustic thick and thin look about it. It's really such a lovely yarn. It does have a toothiness. It has a really nice kind of woolly feel to it. This yarn is known for being very rich in lanolin. Lanolin is the natural oils that a sheep produces and it, it kind of works its way into the fleece and it's antimicrobial and it cleanses the wool. This is why wool is considered self-cleaning because it contains lanolin. Lanolin works all of the dirt kind of out of the wool, cleanses it, that's what makes it self-cleaning. A lot of people wonder why is wool self-cleaning? How does it clean itself? Well, it doesn't necessarily shed a lot of these things 
things, but the lanolin kind of gets in there and decommissions all of the gross stuff. But lanolin is what makes this antimicrobial and self-cleaning. And you wanna make sure that you have a little bit of that in your yarn so that those qualities are retained. Well, this yarn is really fantastic because it's in the yarn, you can feel it in there. Some may not like that. Some may think that it kind of has a very, very slight greasy feel. In my opinion, it just feels very natural, very wooly. And I know that that's going to help maintain the wool for a long period of time. Keep it nice and resilient and strong, but also keep it clean. So that is Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. Now let's go ahead and talk price of Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. Oh, and before I forget, this is a worsted slash Aran weight yarn. I think that this is a pretty classic worsted weight. Some people think it kind of leans towards Aran weight, a little bit of a heavy worsted. It uh, shows on the ball band here that you get 16 stitches um, to four inches on a size nine or five and a half millimeter needle. And in my opinion, that is a worsted weight yarn, but your mileage may vary. Okay, price point for Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I have all of my notes here, so I wanna make sure that I'm looking at everything, paying attention. Okay, so price point for this, this is going to give you a whopping 348 yards, which is a little bit less than your average ball of fisherman's wool because your average ball of fisherman's wool comes in at 465 yards and you get 227 grams. And that is clocked in at $13.99 US, which comes down to about $6 per 100 grams. You can get away with maybe three balls of this to make your average sweater, depending on your size, of course, but you're looking at $6 per 100 grams for a really beautiful, rustic, wooly, lanolin rich, 100% wool yarn that you can pick up at Michael's or Joanne or any major big box craft store that carries Lion Brand. And that, in my opinion, is a fantastic budget option. I am actually currently knitting a, uh, I have the yoke of a sweater knit in Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. Let me go ahead and show you that just to give you an idea of what this looks like when it's knit up. So here is the beginning of a yoke of a sweater knit in that particular Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool that you see there. Absolutely lovely. When it's knit into a fabric, it feels really lovely and sumptuous. It's not super soft like a merino, but it definitely feels wooly and just ever so toothy, letting you know that it's going to be a warm and cozy sweater. Okay, so taking our first position, our first spot in this Budget to Bougie episode will be Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. If you don't have any in your stash, you definitely need some. I link to it down below. Okay, next on my list, and I have some of this here, another one of my absolute favorites for a worsted weight, 100% wool, untreated yarn is Patton's Classic Worsted. This is another one that it's, it's available at most big box craft stores. You can find this in a lot of different places. You can find it online through Yarn Inspirations. It's all, again, linked down below. It's on Amazon. It's very, very accessible. It's by Patton's. Patton's has been around for quite some time now. I believe patents originated in Australia, but I may be wrong. So you can correct me if I'm wrong down below, but this is patents classic wool worsted. This one that you're seeing here, it's part of the, um, actually, I think this is just part of the wool worsted line. They also have a tweed line, which is lovely. I love the colors that they have. This is 100% pure new wool. It is 194 yards per 100 grams. Each of these is going to give you 100 grams. And it comes in a really lovely variety of colors as well. I'll go ahead and pop up a little picture here or a little video so you can see my screen. You can see the really lovely color options that this yarn does offer you. And again, it's really easy to find in those big box stores. If you need to get something knit and a lovely all wool yarn and you need to do it without waiting for shipping. Okay, Patton's clocks in at $9.50 for one of these 100 gram balls. So this is gonna take us to the top of this budget option. But again, $9.50 for 100 grams or just a little less than 200 yards is a definite budget buy if you want some really great wool yarn. Okay, my third option for the budget category is by Knit Picks. This I do not have physical examples for you, so I'm gonna pop my screen up so you can see Knit Picks wool of the Andes. Now, wool of the Andes is consisting of a Peruvian Highland wool, which is why they call it wool of the Andes. 
and it is a fantastic yarn. I have used it in the past. I love it. It is very similar to a Patton's Classic Worsted, a little bit more toothy, a little bit more wooly than that but it's a lovely yarn overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my screen here. It is 110 yards to 50 grams per ball, but each 50 gram ball is $3.79. So we're looking at between seven to $8 per 100 grams, which clocks in under Patton's Classic Wool and just a little bit over Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool, making it a really great option if you're going to be knitting a larger garment and you wanna save some money on your yarn. You're getting a lovely yarn, you're getting 100% wool here. Nothing has been treated. Nothing has been super washed. It's just Peruvian Highland wool, which is a really lovely toothy variety of wool yarn. Okay, so those are my first three recommendations for the budget category. Now, again, there are lots of options out there. These are the three that I'm gonna give you for this category for the sake of this video, but definitely check the description box. Anything additional, I'll link to down there so you can kind of go off and get a jumping off point for some other options that are available to you as well. But before I move on to mid-range, I wanna share with you a fun find that I actually picked up at Michael's, and I'm not sure if you're always going to be able to get these at Michael's, but something tells me they may be discontinuing them soon, but you can find them on Amazon and you can find them online in general. And that is Tapestry Wool by Anchor. So these are the skeins of Tapestry Wool right here by Anchor. These are 100% pure virgin wool that put up in a nice four ply twist a really lovely yarn. So I found these at Michael's. There was a whole wall of these and they come in this size and they also come in sizes smaller than this. And I'll show you a little uh, picture of what I saw at Michael's here. But these are really amazing. The color palette is lovely. They have more colors than just these, which you can see here, but it's a really lovely kind of rustic color palette and the yarn is really nice as well. This is very similar to Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool in texture, in weight, in just the overall quality of the yarn in general. And it says here on the little ball band that it's 100% virgin wool, 40 meters or 43.75 yards per one of these. These are produced in Hungary and it's tapestry wool. And I'm not super familiar with tapestry wool in general, but from what I've been reading online, it's just a really hardy rustic wool that's intended to be used in tapestries. It's toothy so that it stays in place. It kind of seems to be all of the different qualities that we look for in a rustic yarn for the sole purpose of being used in tapestries. Now, the reason I chose these was because I feel like they give you a really great option when you're looking for small amounts of rustic wool toothy yarn for color work projects. They run between $3.50 and $5 per 47 yards or how much was that in meters? 40 meters or 43.75 yards, which isn't necessarily super cheap, but when you want the convenience of having just the amount of yarn that you need and no extra yarn left over, and you really only wanna pay for what you're using, this is a really great option. You can find tapestry wool at big box craft stores, and most often they come in skeins like this. This um, is, like I said, 40 meters, and each one of these, I'm gonna weigh it for you, comes in at 20 grams. So that's the same as a mini skein of yarn. So essentially what you're getting here are mini skeins that you can use for color work projects. If you want a color work hat, or maybe you're doing the color work um, yoke of a sweater and you wanna make sure that the contrasting colors aren't going to take up a bunch of space in your stash with big skeins of yarn and you just don't wanna pay for those really extra amounts of yarn. This is a great way to get some of the yarn that you need, albeit in worsted weight, without having to break the bank or without having to purchase a lot of extra yarn. So this is just a fun find option for those certain occasions when you need some worsted weight yarn for color work, but you don't wanna have all the extra yarn left around. It is tapestry yarn. This is by Anchor, but there are other brands as well. 100% virgin wool, really lovely four ply construction. Just kind of a fun find for little rustic yarn mini skeins. Okay, now we're gonna be moving into the mid-range category. So this is going to be 100 grams for 10 to $20 per 100 grams. Okay, so the first option for rustic yarns at a mid-range price point is going to be by Istex, in particular, Let Lopi yarn. Let Lopi yarn is a very popular yarn for knitting those real classic Icelandic wool sweaters. It clocks in at $5.75 
per 50 grams, which is going to give you 109 yards, which is going to be just over $11 per 100 grams of yarn. People tend to think that Lopi yarn, Istex yarn, um, the Icelandic wool yarns are much more expensive, but it's actually kind of nice to find that these tend to be more of a mid-range budget yarn. You can get this yarn without breaking the bank. Now I'm looking at the Wooly Thistles website here and they have let Lopi yarn for, like I said, just over $11 per 100 grams. That would get you two balls of the Let Lopi yarn, but you can also purchase other yarns by Istek. For example, Plot to Lopi, which is the yarn that is unspun in plates, and each of those are 100 grams and you get 100 grams for $10. So Istex yarn in general is a really great way to go if you want a really nice Icelandic rustic yarn and you don't want to break the bank. And if you're in the United States, you can purchase these yarns without having to purchase internationally from Iceland or from Istex. You can purchase them at places like the Wooly Thistle, Fancy Tiger Crafts. There are lots of yarn retailers in the United States that provide Istex yarn so you can get that without having it shipped across the pond. Okay, this next option is relatively new to me. However, I have heard of Harrisville Designs when researching Brooklyn Tweed in the past. They, um, they're connected in some way, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that Brooklyn Tweed sells Harrisville or Harrisville also incorporates some of the Brooklyn Tweed yarn. They've been around for a long time. I do know that they go back to 1794. So woolen yarn has been spun in the water-powered brick mill town of Harrisville since 1794. It says this small village is nestled in Monadnock Highlands of southwestern New Hampshire and is the only industrial community of the early 19th century that still survives in America in its original form. So Harrisville has been around for a long time operating since 1794, spinning really beautiful yarn from 100% virgin wool. So the, the, the line that I want to share with you today, because not all of Harrisville designs falls into this mid-range category. Some of them are a little bit more pricey and fall into that higher end, more bougie range. But the particular line I want to share with you guys today that I think is one worth looking at if you're looking for a more mid-range a uh, rustic 100% wool yarn is the Shetland line. So this is a line of yarn that consists of 100% virgin wool. It says that um, one of our core yarns available in 64 colors, Shetland has been a versatile workhorse for our customers for years. It's not made from Shetland wool, rather. The name Shetland refers to the size of the yarn and not the fiber content. The wool is a blend of an Australian fine wool and a hardy New Zealand wool that gives the yarn its luster. And you can get 50 grams of this. Now keep in mind, this is a woolen spun yarn. So for 50 grams, you're actually getting 217 yards per skein. So this is a full skein of worsted weight yarn and you're able to get that at the price point of $10.50. Again, it's woolen spun, it's going to weigh less than a worsted spun skein of yarn, but you're still getting 217 yards for $10.50. I definitely encourage you to look into Harrisville Designs in general. You're going to find some really beautiful yarn. And if you want a nice worsted weight sweater yarn in gorgeous array of colors, at a really great price point, something that is made of really gorgeous wool yarn, this is a really great option. So $10.50 per 217 yards or per full skein of worsted weight yarn, you really can't beat that. So that is Shetland by Harrisville Designs. Now bear in mind, I'm not able to cover in this video all of the weights of yarn. You're gonna notice that a lot of these are DK to worsted weight. What I'm trying to provide you here is a jumping off point to start some research on what options you have out there. So by offering Shetland by Harrisville Designs, I'm hoping you click that link and discover all that Harrisville Designs has to offer you because the price ranges really aren't all that different. It's just broadening your perspective and your horizons on what is available to you in terms of rustic yarn at a variety of price points. So moving forward, just keep that in mind. I know a lot of these are a little bit heavier than a fingering weight, which might be what you're looking for, or a little bit lighter than a bulky weight, but it's giving you that jumping off point. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is Green Mountain Spinnery. Now this is one that I can tell you from personal experience, I have, I have fondled many of Green Mountain Spinnery's yarns at um, Stitches West a few years ago, and I can tell you it's amazing yarn. Again, it is woolen spun yarn, so it's a lighter weight yarn per yardage, just like the Harrisville designs, but you're getting full skeins of yarn. So the price points that I'm giving you are for a full skein of yarn. Green Mountain Spinnery clocks in at about $15.75 per 180 yards. It's gonna be a little bit on the higher end of our mid range, but again, it is a beautiful yarn. 
It's American wool. It's not breed specific. It's a variety of different wool breeds spun together as far as I know, but it's all 100% American wool and it is spun right here in the United States. So here is a skein of the line of yarn called Music. M-E-W-E-S-I-C. What I love about this is it has a lovely toothiness and feel, but you can feel the spinning oils and lanolin within the yarn. So it's like I was mentioning back with the fisherman's wool, you're gonna get some of that natural oil that's in the wool that makes it self-cleaning and antimicrobial. That lanolin is in the yarn. And then the additional spinning oils are in there as well. And you're getting a really awesome quality of yarn. So again, Green Mountain Spinnery, this is the music line, a DK weight yarn. I encourage you to look into all of Green Mountain Spinnery's yarn options. Not all of them are as budget friendly as this, but for the most part, they sit in a nice place. Um, that's definitely something you can save up for, but you're not gonna break the bank. It's not gonna feel like you're just, you know, spending an arm and a leg to knit a sweater out of such lovely yarn. Okay, I do have a fun find for the mid-range, uh, collection or category of this video. And that is the kind of revelation that you can purchase cones of yarn from yarn suppliers and get a little bit of a better deal when you purchase them that way. So this is a cone of yarn. Now this yarn is undyed. So that's be I have this because of my yarn business. So this is an undyed cone of yarn but certain yarn suppliers, and in the case of, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna to refer to the Woolly Thistle. The Woolly Thistle features cone yarn or yarn put up in cones that you can purchase. You can get a lot of yarn, what you might need for an entire sweater in one cone, and you're saving some money. For example, if you wanna purchase a cone of Frangipani, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Frangipani Five Ply Guernsey Wool Yarn, which is a really lovely wool yarn. It's 100% British Guernsey wool. You can get a cone of that, which is going to give you 500 grams or 1,200 yards per cone, and you're spending $62.95, which works out to roughly $12.60 per 100 grams, fitting it nicely in that mid-range budget category. So if you're looking to knit a sweater with a particular yarn that's a little bit more rustic, check your yarn suppliers, the ones that are online primarily, it's a little easier to navigate and see if they're selling that yarn in cone form and you can save a little bit of money if you purchase it that way. It's kind of like purchasing sweater yarn in bulk. And also what's great about that is you can knit your sweater right from the cone and you don't have to cake anything up and you can just pull the yarn straight from the cone and, and get, get busy. So it's an option if you wanna save some money, if you're okay with buying your yarn bulk and in cone form, another way to get some really lovely rustic yarn at a little bit of a better price point than if you were to purchase it in the skein. Okay, we have arrived at the bougie category of the video. So this is going to be yarn that falls into the $20 and over per 100 grams of yarn. This is rustic yarn that's going to carry the label of breed specific farm to needle locally sourced within 50 miles of the store where you purchased it, all of those things. That's gonna to contribute to a higher price tag. Also, and it is fair to mention this too, that brand name, yarn company, however notable those two things are, that also might contribute to the higher price point. So bear that in mind. But most of what I'm gonna share with you today in terms of bougie rustic yarn, these are very breed specific, almost to the point of being able to track it back to not only the farm, but perhaps even the sheep. Okay, now number one in this bougie category is Solitude Wool. This is a yarn company that creates breed specific yarns and fiber, and they source their fleece exclusively from small farms in the Chesapeake fiber shed. Started in 2006 by shepherds who love wool, they work in very small batches. The yarns that they offer are alpaca and merino, border lester, Clune Forest, Coopworth, Cotswold, Dorset, Icelandic, Caracal, Llama Rama, Mont Montedale, Romney, Targi, Tooney, all of these are very breed specific and very wooly yarns. I mean, separate, if you separate out the merino and the alpaca, a lot of these are those really lovely wooly yarns. Okay, so I could pick any of these, but we're gonna stick to a Romney semi-worsted spun yarn. So this is coming from a Romney breed of sheep. And this is clocking in, you get 130 yards per skein 
for $30. So 130 yards per skein is less than your typical worsted weight uh, skein of yarn coming in usually between 10, 210 and 215 or 220 um, yards per skein. This is 130 yards per skein and you're paying $30 for that yarn. Beautiful yarn, breed specific. You can source it and it's all here from the United States. So that would be local to anybody living in the US. Really lovely option if that is important to you, but your price tag is definitely going to reflect all of the care that's being taken to source these yarns and have them be so local and in such a small batch. So you're paying for what you get. There's obviously going to be quality and appeal there. Price tag definitely reflects that. So that is Solitude Wool. Highly recommend you check them out. The yarn options are beautiful. And if you're really into breed specific wools and yarns, and that's very important to you, this is a really great option. But just know the price tag is going to reflect all of what makes this special, as it should as it should. Okay, next, and I went down the Fancy Tiger Crafts rabbit hole to find these next few options because they have an entire category called breed specific yarns where you can really kind of get into those more upper level, not upper level, that's not the right way to put it, but higher end price tag yarns. And that's because of their breed specific nature. It doesn't always mean they're going to be more expensive. It just means that your more expensive rustic yarns are probably gonna fall in that category. So the next one I wanna share with you is called Road Trip Sock Yarn. This this is a yarn by Allie Pate of Herd of Cats and it's Road Trip Sock Yarn by name. And this particular yarn, it's given a category GFR 50, which means greener front range locally sourced fiber within 50 miles. It's made with a blend of locally sourced fibers from their very own home, home state of Colorado. The yarns are processed and milled in Hudson, Colorado, and then dyed with love using eco-friendly practices by Road Trip Sock Yarn in Denver. So it's 400 yards per hank, and this is fingering weight sock yarn. And for 400 yards, you're spending 39 um, US dollars US. So that makes this a little bit more of a bougie option. But again, you can read all about how this is very breed specific and very locally sourced, especially if you live in the Colorado area. Okay, and the last option I'm gonna share with you is also from Fancy Tiger Crafts in terms of where I found it and the information I have on this. This is going to be a yarn brand that you're probably familiar with. And I know that you can purchase this yarn through other retailers. But again, I found this yarn in the Fancy Tiger Crafts um, breed specific yarns section of their shop. And this is Tuku wool. Tuku wool is made from a Finnish wool that is as light and airy as it is hardy. The wool and spun yarn is two ply and perfect for anything from mittens to sweaters. It comes with a beautiful range of colors. So with that, you're going to get 213 yards per 50 grams of fingering weight yarn. This is a fingering weight yarn. That's about half the size of a full fingering weight skein of yarn, which usually clocks in around 400 yards, a little bit more than that per um, 100 grams. This is 213 yards per 50 grams and you're paying $16 US for that 213 yards. So if you wanted the same amount as a full skein of fingering weight yarn, you're looking at $32 per what would be 100 grams of this particular yarn, putting it at the upper end of the budget spectrum into the bougie category of rustic yarns. But you guys, it's a really beautiful yarn. You can see in the images here that the natural wool is a darker color. So anything dyed over the top of this is going to be very rich with that deep, dark undertone from the natural wool fiber. It's really very lovely and a really lovely option if you're looking for something um, different, something from another country. If you wanna try one of those lovely Scandinavian breeds of yarn, this is a really great option for that as well. And you can find it here in the US so you don't have to pay the exorbitant costs to have it shipped to you. So that is Tuku wool and you're looking at about $32 per 100 grams. I encourage you to just go to Fancy Tiger Crafts. The, I think the website is beautifully done. And the fact that you can find all of these breed specific yarns in one place, that alone is a really great jumping off point. And it even says yarn made from specific sheep breeds such as Cormo, Targi, Shetland, and Wensleydale. And they have a few others in here as well. Just loving that. Fancy Tiger actually also has their own line of yarn called Heirloom Romney, which is a breed specific yarn. It runs a little bit more in the uh, mid-range category in terms of budget, but also it's definitely one to check while you're checking out the Fancy Tiger Crafts breed specific section. Okay, for the fun find for this category, I just want to mention again, and I did talk about this in a couple pr uh, videos ago where I introduced you to Lovely Valley Wool. Now, it's really important when you're looking for some really nice rustic yarns to at least 
try finding some yarns that are local to you. Regional, regionally local, it doesn't have to be local to your state specifically or especially to your city, but something regionally local because you can get some really great rustic yarns directly from the source without having to pay any additional cost from a yarn supplier who is also having to pay some additional cost to carry the yarn in their store. This is yarn that I purchased from Lovely Valley Wool and I purchased it directly from their shop site. And this is yarn that they produce from their sheep and they have it mill spun um, in a mill that they work with, but you're buying it directly from the source. You're paying a little bit less for the same quality and rustic nature of a yarn that you would be paying a little bit more of a higher price tag for in a shop. So just a little tip, a little fun find. This was my fun find by Lovely Valley Wool, which is um, from sheep from Northern Nevada. Nevada is my home state. This is a mix of Merino and Rambouillet, so it is not 100% breed specific, but it is very, um, you can find the source of the yarn, you know where it's coming from. The sheep are locally sourced as far as that goes. So it's nice. You get the qualities of that nice, fine, rustic yarn, but you're getting it right from the source. So you're inevitably going to be paying a little bit less and purchasing it directly from the people who produced it. So when you're hunting down really lovely rustic yarns, definitely bear that in mind. All right, folks, there you have it. A variety of rustic yarns, beautiful rustic yarns and brands for you to look into, but displayed here for you at a variety of price points from budget to bougie. It's really important to do some additional research on your own, but to know that there are ways that you can knit with really lovely wooly rustic yarns without breaking the bank. And at the same time, you know what's available to you in terms of breed specific heirloom yarns, if that's something that's important to you. You. I think if you knit your next sweater in a breed specific, uh, locally sourced yarn, I think that's great. I think if you knit your next sweater exclusively using Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool, I think that's equally great. Do what makes you happy, do what makes you feel comfortable in terms of budget, but just know you have options. I really enjoyed putting this together and getting handsy with the yarns that I did have available to me. I hope this was helpful to you. If you took any value from this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. There will be more coming in the Budget to Bougie series in the next month, but in between now and then, there will be content uploaded on the channel weekly. I upload twice a week with a midweek ramble on Wednesdays and podcast episodes on Sundays. I will see you for the next episode of the podcast, which is episode 66. Until then, if you are celebrating, happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, be well, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.